All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew. This is Prox Fight here, and we are back for another episode of the Yokai Watch 3 Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went and came across within a fork in the road here within our way of Yokai Watch 3. And uh, it seems like what we're going to have to go and do is that we're going to go and continue onwards with our way of that boy Buck on the chapter side of what Prox is going to be all about, or aka Nate's side that's going to be happening from here. Now, uh, later on, we will have the option to actually switch between back and forth of what our character is. Is going to be so it's not going to be like a permanent situation where we're just going to be locked directly onto what uh nate's story is going to be uh but however we will be meeting up with a certain yokai or i guess a a certain type of friendly creature that's going to be around over here known as the ipo and uh, ipo is actually going to be somewhat of a different type of character that's going to be here and going to have a brand new type of function where we will be able to go onto ipo and we'll be able to have the option to switch around within our uh, different main characters of the game now still ipo is going to be doing the same exact type of thing where uh, we will be able to get ourselves healed up by the ipo and not only that but also have the ability to switch between our medallions uh back and forth between of our different yokais to see which type of what is going to suit us better um but now uh within the way of the episode as well too not only are we going to be meeting up with an ipo out of all things but we are going to have to go and uh, see what one of the new Krakenkai machines are going to be happening here now i think like each different type Type of Krakenkai machine has like their own type of different functionality. Here for this one here in Yokai Watch 3, however, is that instead of it being like somewhat of like a gumball machine that we went and kind of used before back in Yokai Watch 1, and I I think the other one was a little bit changed up, I think, you okay, watch for because I think it was more so of like a crane or something, right? Where it was like one of those like crane type of games. Uh, but here for this one in Yokai Watch 3, uh, this one's going to be somewhat of a uh, type of roulette wheel. Uh, and uh, whatever it lands on and whatever type of thing that we go and grab is going to be the one that we're going to be able to go and pick up from there. Now, I believe there is a uh, certain uh, eye, like a certain type of like uh, eye type of thing that will actually pop up within the... Uh, um, which in the actual uh, spinning wheel itself and if it lands directly on the middle of that eyeball there of the cranky kind machine that is where you can get like the jackpot of like the different type of rewards that you can go and find there which uh, we'll be getting more into that once we actually do see what this cranky kind machine is going to be happening but we are going to be having to move off into a new area which that is going to be known as north beach and uh, we're going to see what this place is going to be all about well at least finally now within the game we can at least start to kind of slowly start making our way into uh, other different parts of the area here within this bbq place now again if you guys don't know what bbq is all about this is basically kind of like the uh, the united states or the american side of uh, everything that's going on here within this way now i didn't realize but it seems like Haley ed's story is actually more so in springdale so you actually have the, the the difference between heading into the bbq side of things or you could actually head on into the way of how um of how Springdale is going to be. But my one question uh, for you guys is, and you guys can let me know in the comments down below, and I'll probably kind of do my own research for this, but will we be able to have the functionalities to actually kind of trade between our two characters within our certain type of yokais, or is that just like somewhat more of like an online or local type of player, uh, like type of functionality? Which you, well, but just let me know in the comments down below. Because I don't want to make it like sound like more more confusing than it actually has to be, but I'm just kind of wondering if if we actually have the option to switch between our different uh, characters within the with, well within the uh, different like yokais that we have currently right now. But yeah, so we get to hear some more of what a uh, blunder and fully is going to be all about here. They're still trying to look out for what this UFO is still happening here. We don't really know too much about the information of this that said uh, UFO at this point in time, but maybe later on we'll figure out a little bit more. But I think what I am going to go and do is, is that I think uh, every time that we uh, kind of go through like our part here within Nate's story, and if we come to like a time where where this type of uh, chapter is going to end, I wonder if I can actually just go and just jump right back into Haley Ann's story, which I think that's what I could potentially do uh, at some point later on down the road, and then kind of flip between back and forth of the stories without having to go and miss out on anything.
But now we actually do have the option of just going and just doing some free roaming around, look around for some different yoke guys if we ever do need to, or actually go and do a little bit of some training as well. Because currently right now at this point in time, we're still in the early stages of this game. Really doesn't really have anything that's going to be too crazy of a boss at this point in time. But we do have a uh, sort of new yoke guy, which we're kind of doing some exploring around, and we got ourselves with O-Wheel. And uh, we're going to see what this guy is going to have to go and offer around over this way. Now, uh... I'm trying to still learn about how the whole battle system works in this game, and it seems like uh, when you're using the checkerboard, you actually do have uh, a certain type of, like, accuracy type of way of how you go and do the battle system, because it seems like uh, when I go and do my special powers, it seems like uh, sometimes it completely misses the actual yokai that's there, so I guess you kind of have to line them up in a certain type of proper, like, properly type of way that happens, and then you can be able to get that uh, all that damage off, like, right then and there. But hopefully later on, I'll still try to figure out how the control system works in this game. Because, I, because like, for me personally, I think, like, I actually do like uh, Yokai Watch 1 and 2's type of way of how the battle system works. I just don't really like how the way of how Yokai Watch 3 is. It's a fun game, but, but the battle system's a little bit wonky in a way. <laughs> it's still really hard to learn about it, too. But, like, I can just see that that's going to become, like, uh, somewhat of, like, a good thing or a bad thing when a boss happens. Because, like, you can just be able to kind of, like, dodge different moves out of the way. But it's, like, it all depends about how you're going to be placing your different yokais around. But now we're in uh, some sort of marketplace around over here on the North Beach side. And it looks like we're going to be able to uh, get ourselves with a, uh, with some ice cream. Because uh, that's what uh, everybody wants to have right now here. Now, within the two videos for today, uh, not only are we just going to be just doing out here with uh, Yoke and Watch 3, of course, but we're also going to be jumping on into some more of, I want to say, Twilight Princess right now. Because I know that last time we just wanted just did uh, Persona 4, and uh, from there, going into uh, that game, but we had to go ahead into the uh, Yukiko Castle, and we got that all completed off with Shadow. Uh, Yukiko is down and out, but we now do have Yukiko finally saved at this point, so that's pretty nice. But, however, here at Twilight Princess, I believe right Right now we are starting to reach off into our way of i think kakariko at this point in time i think we're starting to head off into that area because i know that we have to go and uh, find uh, the next vessel of light and uh, go after the different tiers of the different bugs that are going to be happening within that light and then uh, we should at least be able to do some expirating around over there and hopefully try to grab out with some extra more other heart pieces and other things along with our time because there is a lot of heart pieces in twilight princess and i want to make sure that we try to grab all of those as best as we can save with the course of the different bugs as well yeah. And those are the only things that I am only going 100% complete for. I'm not going to do it how I did it before in my, uh, in my original series of Twilight Princess and going after every single type of Poe and every single type of bug and everything because that just took a little bit too much time with just the Poe's there. <laughs> well, it seems like Javon John is trying to get back into his old habits again where he wants to go and try to beat up a truck out of all things, but I don't know how he could even go and do anything like that. Well, well, did he actually, like, destroy, a, a, like, a, well, a truck in somewhere, like, in Springdale? But, but these trucks are completely different, man. These guys are much more bigger than, than the other ones previously from before in Springdale. Uh, I don't think that's gonna really work. And he's gonna go fly away. <laughs> Classic Jibonyon. Alright, well, now we have to go and literally look for this guy now. But I think during the time that he was flying in the air, he did go and spot out that there is a Kraken Kai machine somewhere around in, uh, well, in our way. Yokai Metal, do your thing. And I think there is going to be a new certain type of character that we haven't met up with yet either that actually knows a little bit about these Kraken Kai machines. And I think his name is Mr. Wonderful, I think. Uh, so I guess we're going to have Kevin O'Leary in this game, basically. Okay. <laughs> That's the only type of person that I actually know who's actually nicknamed, actually known as Mr. Wonderful in Shark Tank. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why Jabaya was even literally thinking about that to even go and try to punch out of one of those big, huge, I guess, semi trucks. But let's go and move ahead over here to this way. And here it is! This is one of the brand new Kraken Kai machines here for this game of Yokai Watch 3 to get ourselves introduced to it. 
Oh, well, here we go. So here's this guy. Yeah, so his name is actually Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> So it's actually known as a dream wheel, basically. Huh. But again, we will have, like, the different, like, sets of lists of all the different rewards that we're going to be able to win. So we'll have our uh, first tier, second tier, and third tier type of items to go and win. I know that we were really lucky before in Yokai Watch 4 where we got ourselves with Shogun Yon, which that was awesome. Having uh, Shogun Yon for a little bit of, like, the end game was actually pretty cool. But it looks like our uh, first prize is from Inflip Boy. Hmm. Well, whatever type of time that we ever go and head on over into where the post office is going to be, I will make sure to go into... Aw, we completely missed the eyeball there. That's our jackpot right there for the golden reward. But we have a meteor badge instead, so that was from the second prize tier. So, eh, I'll take it. Probably an equipment badge that we'll probably need for somebody. Maybe for Jabonyon or... Uh, or lying geist out here. But anyways, I think that's about it. Where I think this is going to be the end of the episode. And uh, yeah, so this episode is going to be a little bit short. But you know what? It's short but sweet. But it's all good in the end. So I'll see you guys uh, for the next time. When we go and continue onwards with more of what uh, Nate's story is going to be from here. So, of course, peace.